Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to give you a peek into my creative sanctuary, my crafting and journaling nook. This little space is located inside my bedroom, and when I was deciding on the color of the room, I chose sunkissed orange. This color reflects my love for autumn tones and really puts me in a creative mood. This is where all the magic happens, from scrapbook journaling to creative journaling and more. Now, while I love a beautiful crafting space, my primary focus is on functionality. I've set up this area to be as efficient as possible, so I can get right into my creative flow without any distractions. Here's an overview of my desk setup. I've arranged everything in a way that's super practical, keeping the tools and supplies I use most frequently within easy reach. It might not be the most Instagrammable setup, but for me, it's all about being able to create with ease and efficiency. First, let's take a look at what's on my desk. I've intentionally placed here the supplies that I regularly use because I'm the type of person who's out of sight, out of mind. So if I don't see something, I might forget to use it. Are you the same way or do you prefer to keep things tucked away out of sight? Let me know in the comments below. This is the reason why I keep my most used markers, fine liners, and brush pens in this holder and Kipling organizer. Having them visible makes it easy to grab what I need quickly, keeping me in the zone when I'm working on a project. My favorite washi tapes are stored in this wooden washi tape holder or rack. This wooden drawer from Daiso. And a small container. I also use this Muji card holder to store washi tape samples. I've cut small pieces from the rolls and placed them here so I can easily flip through and find what I'm looking for without unrolling the entire tape. Large clips and magnetic bookmarkers are also stored inside this Daiso wooden drawers. Over here, I've stored memo pads, sticky notes, and envelopes in these two wooden containers. Some of my wooden stamps are kept inside this Muji acrylic drawer. I also have a desk lamp, but I mainly use this long light bulb installed underneath my floating shelf. Good lighting is important to me because this is also where I film my YouTube videos. Now on the right side, I have this rope basket where I keep other stationary supplies that I like to have within reach. Like my sticker booklets, sticker sheets, the washi tape sample binder I showed you earlier, and inked fountain pens in this leather pen case. My other pen cases filled with my favorite pens are also here. The fountain pens that are not currently inked are stored in the bottom drawer of this Muji acrylic organizer. 
Lastly, in this small steel box made in collaboration with Traveler's Company, I keep my basic journaling tools such as adhesives like double-sided tape, glue stick, glue tape, a small pair of scissors, ruler stencil, washi samples, and correction tape. This toolbox is handy to take with me whenever I decide to journal in other areas of our home. So as you can see, I keep what I use most often right here on my desk. This setup not only keeps me organized but also makes it easier to stay focused and productive. Next, right beside my chair is a rolling trolley similar to IKEA's Roscog. Hanging in front are three trolley cup organizers where I keep my mini stamp inks, distress ink blending tool, and a set of mini clear stamps, all neatly organized on a metal ring. On the top level of the cart, I place my most used clear stamp sets. I've tried different storage solutions for clear stamps in the past, like binders, but what works best for me is simply placing each set in a transparent plastic sleeve or keeping them in their original clear packaging. I then store them in plastic container baskets. This setup makes it so much easier to browse and quickly find what I'm looking for. Beside these two plastic containers, there's a small space where I've stored other items like a Muji transparent box that holds my shock inks and wooden stamps in their original packaging. Moving on to the second level of the trolley, I have another plastic container basket with clear stamps that I don't use as often, like seasonal theme stamps and other decorative designs. I also keep pieces of ephemera here like label stickers and other tiny bits that I use in my journaling. Additionally, I store more wooden stamps in their original packaging on this level. Finally, on the bottom level of the trolley, I store my sticker albums and binders. My sticker sheets are stored in a binder with clear sleeves, allowing me to flip through and find the perfect one for my project. Along with ephemera in translucent boxes and a receipt wallet. I also keep some decorative cardstocks and papers here. The ruling trolley card is incredibly beneficial for my setup. It allows me to keep all my essential supplies organized and within arm's reach while still being able to move it around as needed. So whether I'm working on a big project or just doing a quick journaling session, everything I need is right beside me making the creative process smoother and more efficient. I have two floating shelves above my desk where I display some of my leather notebooks, like traveler's notebooks along with illustration books, classics, and a few decorative items. You'll find an Eiffel Tower figurine, antique boxes, a coffee grinder, and other trinkets that reflect my personality. I also keep my alphabet wooden stamps, distress inks, and cling stamps here. My other sticker flakes are stored inside wooden boxes.
while additional cling stamps are placed in translucent containers. I've arranged these floating shelves in a way that truly expresses who I am, which is a mix of my love for vintage, books, journaling, coffee, and travel. It's a space that not just functional but also serves as a little corner of inspiration every time I sit down to create. To keep the creativity flowing, I have one or two pieces of inspiration on my wall. Like this postcard of a luggage which was a freebie from Galen Leather. I have a collection of postcards so I like to change them out from time to time. These little touches add a personal vibe to the space while keeping the wall minimal to avoid distractions. It's a perfect balance that keeps me inspired without overwhelming my workspace. Next, let's take a look inside my desk drawers. Starting with the top right drawer, this is where I keep my washi tape rolls. I've organized them inside boxes or bins, sorted by theme and sizes. If you're interested in seeing how I decluttered and organized my washi tapes, be sure to check out my previous video about it. I'll put the link in the description box below. Moving down to the second drawer, you'll find my other art supplies like watercolor, colored pencils, and Crayola markers which I've kept in their original cases. The third drawer is where I store my stash of unused notebooks and Shaver's notebook inserts. In the fourth right drawer, I keep extra stocks of stationery and journey supplies. So these third and fourth drawer are my go-to spots when I need a refill. On the left side, the bottom drawer is where I store my other crafting tools such as cutters, punchers, and hole binders. Keeping these tools in one place ensures that they are easy to find when I need them. As for the other drawers, they are used for personal items so I won't be showing them on camera. And finally, the drawer directly in front of me is reserved for other supplies like my large scissors, clips, sticker paper scraps, and various trinkets. So what's inside my drawers are supplies that I don't regularly use. For instance, the washer rolls are stored here because I've already got samples of them on my desk using a card holder. This way, I can keep the full rolls tucked away but still easily access the designs I want without having to dig through the drawer each time. As for the colored pencils and Crayola markers, I decided to keep them inside the drawers because my go-to coloring tools are brush markers, which I store on top of my desk and inside the Kipling pouch. However, when I'm in the mood to use watercolors, Crayola markers, or colored pencils, I like to keep them within reach here in this drawer. This way, they are easily accessible when inspiration strikes but they don't clutter up my workspace when I'm not using them. My overall approach is about balancing function with a bit of aesthetic appeal. I keep the most used tools like scissors, glue, and rulers right on top of my desk while everything else is neatly stored away but still within reach. It's important for me that my space is functional first and foremost so I can stay focused on the creative process. And that's it for my desk tour. I hope you enjoyed this look into my crafting and journaling nook. Remember, it's not about how pretty your space is. It's about how well it works for you. Now I have a question for you. How do you balance functionality and aesthetics in your own crafting space? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found any of these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more creative journaling inspiration. Thanks for watching and happy crafting! Mm -hmm.